So where does this value as a scientist or an engineer come from? It comes from the scientific know-how. It comes from the skills that you developed while you were achieving your PhD. And these are the science skills, the skills of being a scientist, the data management skills, the data collection and analysis and methodology skills. It comes from the technology skills, all the instrumentation, all the engineering, all the computing skills that you developed. It comes from business skills that you honed while you were a scientist. And I know a lot of scientists and engineers don't realize how talented they are in business, in hard business skills. Uh, your business skills that you have include uh, finance and accounting, as we talked about, project management, marketing and sales, customer relations, risk management, safety protocols, all sorts of different hard business skills. Things that you hear about in MBAs, you're getting as a scientist, as an engineer. So you're getting a free ride. You've already gotten these skills by becoming a scientist. And you also have leadership and communication and these problem-solving skills.